the fire burning inside of me breath of heaven breathing light in me oh holy spirit you are the light in me oh the fire of me. Please let us know your name and where are you from? Hi, my name is Andres. I'm from uh, Carbondale, Colorado. Wow, that's awesome. Okay, so Andres, uh, before you came through the prayer line, can you let us know what was your life like before? What were some like demons that were just attacking you? Yeah, so some demons that were attacking me were witchcraft and the Antichrist. And before coming here, um, I was a persecutor of Christians. I was just like Paul. I didn't like Christians at all. So I, I feel like the spirit of Antichrist was there, hindering that spot. And as well as that, um, I always encountered that my relationships were not working. And I believe that's where witchcraft kicked in. When you were going through the prayer line, um, what was happening? What were you experiencing? So when I was going through the prayer line, I was just trying to get in the spirit, like, Holy Spirit, I really, really want to serve you and your ministry. And uh, I just want everything to be set free. I don't want to be held in bondage. I want to be set free just the way the verse says that he came here to set the captives free. And I was like, Jesus, you just got to come in. Whatever's in there, I don't care. Just set me free. So when it came to witchcraft, um, it would always function in a way of hurting my relationships. And the way in my relationships was my partners, whoever I was with. Um, especially every single time that I got closer to God, um, God blessed me with putting me with a lot of uh, Christian women. <laughs> uh, but every time I came closer to getting to God, um, just I, now I can see, now I can relate. I wasn't understanding back then, but now I can see how the witchcraft was controlling that part, how he was breaking all of that. But the Lord came in strong and he set me free with his blood and his precious royal blood amen hallelujah what did god do like is there a difference like did god really set you free i i want to know what is happening to you right now so yes yes god definitely set me free when it came down to the antichrist which i knew was probably one of the strong demons in there because i've always tried getting closer to god but something's always hindered that so when it came to setting me free, I definitely feel a different impartation right now. And I feel so much warmth for the Holy Spirit. I feel so connected spiritually that we're just here to be, you know, a part of the demon slayers if possible. What is a word of encouragement that you can give to someone that maybe has gone through something similar that whenever they find themselves in, um, in a relationship with a man of God or a woman of God, something falls through or they just have like this anger, this zeal against Christians and Jews, what would you advise them with? You know, I encourage you to give Jesus a chance. And the way I started giving a chance is they always kept on saying something about the secret place. And I was like, what? What is the secret place? So I wanted to know more. I began searching videos about the secret place and just spending time with God and Jesus and how to connect with the Spirit of God and letting the Holy Spirit just come into you, fill you with His warmth and begin to reveal those curses, generational curses, ancestral curses, words spoken over you and even demons and breaking them at the root with the precious blood of Jesus. All glory be to God, Jesus Lord, my Lord and Savior. Amen. Hallelujah.